Hi, this is Jamie with Stonemeyer Games. This is the first video I'm recording in 2016, so I thought it would be appropriate to talk about a game that was released in 2003, Alhambra. Alhambra has a really, really interesting mechanism surrounding the idea of currency in the game. And there are two different elements of this. The first is that um, you're basically you're buying some tiles in the game to add to your Alhambra. And you're welcoming in builders from around the world to help you build different types of tiles. And this is the first interesting part of the mechanism. There are four different types of currency in the game because those builders will only accept their native currency, which I think just inherently is interesting. In most games, we just have a universal currency. In fact, I don't know of any other game that uses multiple different types of currency. But the thing I really love about this mechanism it, uh, this uh, currency mechanism is when you're buying tiles if you are able to pay the exact amount for the tiles so there's a there's a cost that will come out on the tiles like a tile might cost 14 uh, 14 orange currency and if you are able to collect in your hand an amount of orange currency that adds up to exactly 14 you get to take another action after that Normally, you can only take one action on your turn, but if you have exact currency, you can take another action. So it's you're essentially taking two turns in a row. What, there are a, a couple different facets that make this so interesting. One is that um, you might think in a game like this that higher value currencies are just inherently better than other currencies because you're randomly drawing these cards. That's a different action you can take to draw these cards. Um, but the idea where exa of exact currency being valuable means that lower value currencies are also really important because they have a greater chance of letting you match up with an exact currency cost or an exact cost. So that's the, the one aspect that I think is really cool. I, I like it when games, uh, in games with currency, any, any amount of randomness where um, the, the higher value things are just as important as the lower value things. We see this in some interesting dice placement games as well, where rolling a six just isn't inherently better than rolling a one. There are pros and cons to both. The other interesting thing this does is that it gives players what appears to be an obvious decision. And I love it in games when there are easy, obvious decisions for, again, two reasons. I'm splintering off in a lot of different directions here. But the first reason is when you're learning a game, um, it's nice to have some easy decisions to make. Uh, the first time you play because that that way you don't have to think too hard You're not spending tons of time on your turn and kind of weighing down the other players who are taking their turn If there's an easy obvious decision You can often just take it until you learn the game enough to be able to make more informed decisions The other interesting thing is that I like in games when the obvious decision isn't necessarily the right decision This is what more experienced players learn about the game um, the example that I have in the game that I was playing, uh, I was playing my first game of Al Alhambra, and I was doing the obvious thing. Whenever I could, I was matching up the exact currency and buying the, to the, the tile that I could with the exact currency. Because taking an extra turn after that, or an extra action is better, right? But another one of the players who had played before was doing that sometimes, but he was specifically trying to save up and often overpaying um, for tiles that were worth more in terms of points. So there are certain tile types, I think there are six different tile types, and two of them, or all of them score in ascending order. So the, like the green tile is worth way more than the, the blue tile. I might have those colors wrong. But um, some tiles are worth more than others. So what this player, this more experienced player was doing, instead of always making the obvious decision, he was making a better informed decision to go after the more expensive tiles. And I love it. That's what I, what I think of when I think of depth in a game. When you have easy, obvious decisions, but more experienced players are making the less obvious decisions and obviously playing better. But everybody's having a good time because everyone's able to make decisions. So anyway, currency in Alhambra, really, really clever all-around mechanism surrounding the four different currency types and how you spend the currency in the game. If you have any other thoughts about other games that do really interesting things with currency, I'd love to hear them in the comments. Thanks.